Hello world. Um, <laughs> problems flat earthers face. Um, I don't like making things too much about me or anything, but I mean, it was hard as hell for me to fall asleep last night. I had to like meditate and just quiet my mind. There were so many things I was thinking about and it just kept on going one to another. Um, I'm very disappointed in, uh, in human beings a lot of the times and just society in general um, at the fact that if a belief is just too far out there, you could say, it's hard to talk about your belief to anybody. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not just talking about flat earth here. Of course, that subject applies, but you know, but I've been kind of, I, I was doing a lot of reflecting last night and just kind of going, going through, uh, uh, my life, you know, the past like 10 years or, you know, high school years and things like that. And like, including like with my Christian faith, I mean, I could go on a lot of different tangents and everything. Um, but so what, what, what kind of got my mind racing and thinking so much is uh, I started going back to school and um, the topic of flat earth got brought up by my professor I won't name names or anything because I re respect in anonymity but um, it got me wondering you know is there and I'm sure I could do research and find out um, but I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts a little bit. Um, but is there a name for, um, what would it be called? You know that feeling like when you believe something so strong and you know for a fact that it's, it's true. Is there a name for wanting to tell people that belief? Like, you know, when you're passionate, whatever it may be. You know about something that you've learned or or something that you love I wonder if there's a name for 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 that you know that um, that that passion to, to have others believe as you believe I'm sure there is I'm sure I could and I'm probably gonna learn about it in one of my classes or whatever because I'm taking psychology but um, My professor had, had admitted that he couldn't even get past like three minutes into the the video I showed or uh, I suggested him, um, and I suggest I suggested 200 proofs by Eric DeBay. Um, it's just it's disappointing because people should be able to believe whatever they want to believe you know like I, I don't know for sure who the lady was but I, I've, I saw a video uh, I don't know how long ago about a year ago some lady from from NASA talking about how it's not okay to believe the earth is flat well why the hell not if there's no if it's absolutely ridiculous and there's no truth to it why the hell not you know why why is it not okay why is it not okay why why is believing any one thing not okay that makes no sense people should have the freedom to believe whatever in the hell they want even if they believe in the 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 what the the flying spaghetti monster god or whatever religion is is that it's like if you know there's no truth to it why is it such a big deal
first of all, and you know, what have we gained from space exploration? What have we gained? Are there any technologies? Are there any breakthroughs in, in health? Have we literally, have, have we benefited at all from all of these rockets going into space, all these moon missions that they erased all the data from? Like, what's the point in it all? Why is it so important? Why is space so damn important? Why? I don't see... I don't see any benefits from us going to space as of yet. And it's been, what, 60-something years that we've been dabbling in the whole space race thing. What it, what has the common man benefited from any of it? The fact that it's making people... And I'm not talking really about common people. I'm talking about like figureheads like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Bill Nye the science guy and you know people in, in higher positions of influence. Why is it making them crawl out of their skin if they know for a fact that there's no truth to the flat earth? Why would it even bother them the least bit? I think one of the most obvious proofs for me that there's some truth to this flat earth thing is the fact that uh, if you're on a ball and you go up, the higher you go up, the more you'll have to look down to see that ball. But what we find in observation is that the higher you go up, the farther out your sight goes it's like the horizon always stays at eye level you know like that just doesn't make sense if you're on a ball it doesn't matter the size of the ball it doesn't matter how big it is the higher you go up the more you're gonna have to look down It's aggravating and frustrating that you can't just, I mean, you can talk about these things with people, but what is it called? I wrote it down. It's something that I, I learned. It's a term. It's called the backfire effect. It's pretty much, um, and you can look it up. It's called the backfire effect. It's like, when you present somebody, when you present information to somebody um, that is that goes against their beliefs and what they know to be true, oftentimes it results in this backfire effect where they just completely disregard it. It doesn't matter how how obvious this information or truth is; it doesn't matter. Oftentimes they leave the argument feeling even more empowered by whatever they believe. And I think a lot of that is going on with this whole flat earth thing. Like, people don't, generally, I don't believe people want to be black sheep. People don't want to be ridiculed. People don't want to be called names people are not looking to be a victim of anything why would anybody want that <laughs> but yet when you say you're a flat earther that's one of the first things that happens is you're automatically questioned ridiculed and I understand I understand people having questions but it's the way that it's it's brought about you know and like the whole <sighs> you can see it on a lot of people's faces you know you bring it up and and they just start chuckling <laughs> oh here we go you know and it's painted like 
were a, a lunatic. Like that, that ridiculous film on Netflix called Behind the Curve. I couldn't, I haven't got through like 30 minutes of it. It's like, if it's anything, it's like a biography about Mark Sargent. You know, and it, you can tell, you can tell whoever produced this film is very biased and doesn't buy it. And if they do, they're, You can tell in the film that by the music that they were using in the background and by the scenes that they they used um, from the comments from these flat earthers you know it's like it's very it's edited it's picked out they pick out certain things to push whatever narrative they're pushing whether it's against the flat earth or for it but obviously it's like painted out and what I mean is anytime one of the physicists or um, the scientific people will come on they would give them an even plane of influence meaning like there wasn't that ridiculous mu music in the background um, it's just to me psychology is huge and uh, just the way they, God, there's so many things I want to talk about, and I'm, I can't help but to go from topic to, to topic, and it's like why, why do you, why do people have to paint others as crazy and stupid? when another person doesn't believe the way that you do. Where is this equality that America is speaking of right now? If there's actually equality in America, I'm not seeing it. I see groups and ideas propagated and pushed at different times in America's history. Right now, one of the biggest ideals being pushed is the LGBT stuff, okay? People should have the freedom to believe whatever they want to believe and do Whatever they want to do, as long as it's not hurting anybody and causing a problem in society. There's no room for bigotry or hatred for anybody. I don't care what they believe. people should have the freedom to believe whatever they want. But why is it so hard for people to look at the evidence that supports the notion that the heliocentric model is not accurate. Science claims that they promote criticism to better understand and find the truth, but yet it seems that when the claim is too far out there, it's not accepted. trying to think of the I had a really profound thought last night I, I think it was kind of kind of along the lines of nothing matters nothing matters anymore what I mean by that is 
that another another idea being pushed is the simulation theory. I'm not saying it's true. I'm not saying it's not true. Well, what I'm saying is what I'm seeing is that there's a further push to discredit your five senses, whatever you may observe and sense. It's like, remember that uh, that saying, if a tree falls in the woods and there is nobody around to hear it, doesn't make a sound. I mean, wouldn't the obvious answer be, yeah, it makes a sound. Just because you're not there to observe it doesn't mean it makes, doesn't make a sound. <laughs> but... I've read and heard a lot of these things that they're, and I say they very broadly because I look into so much stuff, it's hard to remember names and, you know, but uh, that they're saying pretty much, like with the law of attraction, pretty much that you can create your own reality. And yeah, there's some obvious truth to that decisions I make in the moment determines the future and the reality of my experience here I don't know I understand I'm just rambling on but it's really hard to find people to talk to about these things that's one thing I, I originally loved about the idea of making videos on YouTube yeah. you know you, you put yourself out there and you never know what type of people you may uh, you may meet because you know there's obviously got to be other people that think the way you do I think the way I do does do whatever <laughs> I don't know I just I wish so bad that I had a group of friends that I can meet up with and, and talk to in person about these big ideas and these topics. But it's hard to find anybody like that, man. It's hard to find anybody with actual independent thought. And I don't know why that is. I mean, I could speculate. We, we could all speculate why that is. There's probably a bunch of different factors that go into it. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just rambling at this point. But. I don't know. I just. I just wish that tree quality really existed. I wish there wasn't hate in the world. I wish everybody could just get along. <laughs> anyway. Um, if y'all have any video suggestions or any topics that you would like me to look into if there's any evidence that you feel proves or disproves the flat earth or glow model or whatever drop a link into the comment section I'll look at both sides but y'all have a wonderful day and see y'all later